Hi, my name is Brian Poland. I'm the president of Brooklyn Cora. Brooklyn Cora is New York's first sake brewery. We produce a very traditional style of sake um, known as Junmai sake. So that means pure rice sake. It includes four ingredients, rice that we get from California and Arkansas, uh, Brooklyn water, which we filter to remove iron and manganese, koji, which we make in our facility, and yeast that we beg, borrow, and steal from Japan. We present sake in our tap room like a fine wine, in wine glasses intended for you to sip, taste, look at, and enjoy. We pair it with things ranging from barbecue to charcuterie and cheese. I mean, it's something to have fun with. It's light, it's natural, um, it's got broad ranging flavors. So sake is this fantastic thing that if you live in New York City, you know and have exposure to, but you really don't fully understand until you go to Japan for the first time. When you're in Japan and you drink the sake there, you're drinking local, direct from the source stuff that is kind of more broad and more affordable and accessible than pretty much anything you can find in the US. And it was really a moment where we're like, how do we make this? How can we bring this to the US? And how can we give more people exposure to the craftsmanship and care that is the sake you would find in, in Japan? Sake has a rich history from the thing that would develop as a result of discarded rice and ambient yeast and koji spores over the course of a 90-day period like a thousand years ago to this highly refined, elaborate kind of mechanical process that is done by craftsmen in Japan. So hopefully in coming to see what we do, uh, you'll get more excited about kind of the rich, deep bench of like producers and sakes that are available to you in a place like New York City. We have a citric sake on the menu right now, which has like a bright acidity and richness to it. We have a lightly dry hop sake that has the aromatics of like an IPA, but the texture of a daiginjo. We just released our daiginjo. We serve something called shiboritate, and this is something you really can only get from a brewery. It's the sake as it comes off of our press, and that stuff is delicate, rich, and textured, and probably my favorite thing about this entire business. Sake is a very elaborate manual process that begins with high quality ingredients. As I mentioned earlier, we make a Jumai style of sake. So rice, water, yeast, and koji are all it takes. But what we do is we have that rice milled to achieve certain grades and characteristics in our final sake. We soak that rice to very specific uh, moisture contents. After soaking, we steam it. After steaming the rice, we make koji with it. Koji is a source of sugar in fermentation, and it is this elaborate 48 plus hour process where we're essentially trying to get a mold, Aspergillus orzai, to grow over steamed rice. And as it grows, it produces enzymes that are necessary to break down starch in rice to sugar. Other steamed rice, yeast and water, plus that koji are combined for a long duration, up to 40 days at very cold temperature and ferment. The final product is an unpasteurized product, so our sake needs to be stored cold, and that gives it this freshness, roundness, and texture. Why do we love sake? Um, we spend a lot of time with exceptional people that have been a part of generation-old businesses that put a lot of care, energy, and attention into making this beautiful product. It's this light, delicate, broad-ranging, really like quintessential craft product um, that we think more people should start drinking.